What's up guys, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Audio Addiction, where you can find the latest album reviews, you can find our band interviews, and you can find our live video of the concerts that we get. We're going to a lot of shows coming up in the end of February into March, and just March in general, there's going to be a ton of shows, ton of footage, so if you enjoy that or the album reviews or anything of that matter definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button also make sure to hit that like button as well but tonight i'm here to bring you another album review from audio addiction and tonight we're going to be talking about ghost iris's new record blind world <laughs> So, um, I actually, I had found out about this band some time ago. I actually found out about them on Id Gents. Uh, I think it was their uh, YouTube page. I was just scrolling through, and I saw this really weird video. I can't remember the track, but I know it's one of their more popular tracks. And I was just like, dude, this is really awesome. Um, I, I'm re I really like Gent. I just don't listen to too much of it, but I would certainly like to find some more bands. Um like that obviously listen to periphery um veil of my i guess veil of maya is kind of gen I, I would say i'm not really a good genre specific person but anyway um really been enjoying that and just enjoying this record um i know it's been out for a few days and i've just been sick so it's been really hard for me to try to get these out but a ton of them will be coming out all together so hopefully you guys will check them out um I, again, I'm doing a bunch of different, uh, you know, artists and things of that nature. But getting back to Ghost Iris, um, I recently saw that they posted, or not recently, but the first track that I heard from this record was obviously Pinnacle, and then I found out about Save Yourself, and, um, I was definitely hooked, and I wanted to check out the rest of the record and give my thoughts on it. So definitely let me know in the comments if you check this album out, or if you heard of this band, or both. Definitely let me know um, what your thoughts are on it. If you agree with me, awesome. If you don't agree with me too that's awesome as well but you know that's the whole point of music is that you know it's very thought-provoking and you know hopefully you enjoy it as well so let's get into the first track which is gods of neglect um i like this sort of uh tappy ambient guitar intro um i've always been a big fan of that um just me good being a guitar player um and also if you watched a lot of our album reviews um i do talk a lot about picking out a lot of the guitar parts and that's something that I go for every time when I listen to um, any sort of album those are the things that I gravitate towards so um, that's definitely something that's big for me and something that obviously I pick out a lot so Tappy intro definitely got me going and got me excited for that um, I feel like this this track and a lot of the tracks off the record remind me a lot of periphery i definitely feel like that has to be a huge influence on this band without a doubt you can tell writing style and just how they conduct themselves um definitely feels like periphery-esque and on top of that uh vocally it reminds me a lot of uh spencer stiletto um and uh i don't know if i said it right i'm it's so Stotello, I uh, sorry Spencer if you're watching this dude ever. Um, sorry if I, I'm just really bad with names, but anyway, it sounds like that. And Lucas Magar from Veil vale of Maya for sure. Um, I feel like it's almost like a Veil vale of Maya periphery sort of baby thing. And um, but getting back into it, kind of, um, I like this sort of distant soft leads uh, throughout the entire track. I think that that's awesome. I felt like they could be turned up maybe just a little bit to kind of you know accentuate some of the rhythm the rhythmic parts of the track um screaming wise uh i feel like this obviously this track has primarily screaming but i know the vocalist also does uh cleans as well which we'll get into in other tracks but this one primarily features screams and i like his range he has a nice mids lows highs all that sort of thing um definitely very solid in that regard without a doubt um rhythm guitar is very genty groovy as you would expect um from any of those sorts of bands in this genre and i definitely think it's a great way to start off the record i think it gives you a really good idea of what their sound sounds like outside of obviously the singles um but i i like that they kind of carry themselves in that regard so 
We'll move on to track number two, which is Save Yourself. This was actually the second single, like I mentioned, um, that they released. I would definitely say this one's one of my favorites. If you haven't checked out the music video, these guys are goofballs, and I really, I enjoy that, because I, uh, to me, I, have you know, love funny shit, so definitely go check out the music video if you're in for, like, some fun stuff, um, but... This one definitely has more of a beefier sound to it, but is also ridiculously catchy. Um, as soon as I listened to this single, I was hooked, without a doubt. The chorus is so infectious, um, it really gets you you know, happy and motivated and stuff like that. Especially me being a guitar player, it's something that motivates me to continue making tracks and stuff like that, just from different perspectives um, in that regard. So I really enjoy that. I also enjoy that the vocalist shows off more of his... Um, diverse range without a doubt obviously adding cleans to arsenal if you didn't you know if you just checked out the first track of the record um i like that he added that um i think he did w awesome on both ends without a doubt um and like i mentioned earlier he reminds me a lot of lucas of vale and spencer of periphery respectively um just in terms of vocally um screams cleans all that stuff i feel like they i feel like you know they're almost like combined and they sound like him um so that's awesome and i really like how they perfectly mesh kind of like he heavy sort of polyrhythms with melody and then you know from breakdown to chorus i really just ha love the structure of this track um without a doubt and i think obviously it's one you should check out so we'll move on to track number three which is flower of life this one is another one of my favorites um it has this nice groove to it right out the gate um that's something that I've always really endeared about um, Jen and sort of that style of music, uh, progressive, I guess it would be considered kind of progressive metalcore. Um, I know I'm going to get some flames for that, but um, it definitely obviously has that sort of progressiveness to it, and I really enjoy that. Um, I like the mix of cleans and screams. Again, I think he's really killing it on both ends. Um, definitely enjoy that sort of rasp to his voice, especially in his cleans. Um, that's really awesome. To me, I always love that because it shows a little bit of emotion, a little bit of dynamic to the vocalist. So I really enjoy that. Um, the breakdown in the second half um, adds a new sort of, adds a cool sort of transition to the track and just um they really kind of just pulled it off really well and it doesn't sound very i don't know it doesn't seem very i guess uh, like i don't i'm trying to think of the word i'm really blanking on it but it just it doesn't seem like it's what you would expect to happen like that i like that they kind of switched it up a little bit um I like that the drums are very nice and punchy um, in your face. That I think that goes for a lot of the tracks on this. It just feels very, like, it's got some beef to it, which I enjoy. Um, and I like that the bass kind of adds, again, this nice lower end to it. I also found out, obviously, if you watch the music video, there's only one guitar player. So I've, I know that most of the time it's done through backtracking, but I like that there is only one guitar player, and he's doing, like, a lot of the work on this. And I think that... You know, obviously, creatively, you can tell that he's done an amazing job um, of that. So I do like that the bass kind of also complements, um, you know, the guitar, but also does its own thing as well, too. I think that shows great diversity amongst the band, but also collectiveness, too. So we'll move on to track number four, which is Pinnacle. Like I mentioned earlier, this one is another single. This was actually probably the first single that they released, obviously. Um, and I really like the clean intro and then how it kind of fits well um, with the sort of heavier guitars, the drums, the bass, everything that kicks instrumentally kicks in um, after that sort of clean sort of bit. Um, that's really awesome to me, and it was something that cool that I liked and I obviously pointed out um definitely had this definitely has some of my favorite guitar riffs in the verse um without a doubt it's just got this sort of groove to it that will just make you want to you know bob your head and just really get into it um like i mentioned earlier i really like the rasps of the vocalist i feel like it adds this sort of dimension to this track in particular without a doubt and i like the sort of break in the bridge i think it adds a nice sort of like suspensefulness um and just like the overall ambience of the track i really enjoy that um as well and i just feel like you know solidly i feel like this track is just has this sort of solidness to it so um i really enjoyed that 
So we'll move on to track number five, which is No Way Out. This one is another one of my favorites. I have plenty of favorites on this record, without a doubt. If you can't already tell, um, this track, again, definitely has that sort of periphery vibe. Like I mentioned earlier, um, you know, I feel like that's definitely a huge influence on this band, without a doubt. And you can definitely tell in the sort of writing style that they have. Um, I feel like it definitely caters to them, but also sounding very unique and you know obviously different from periphery but you can tell that again their roots are kind of in periphery and all that sort of you know bands in that sort of genre um but again i really like this sort of creative riffs um i know it gets my mental uh you know gu guitar mind flowing and stuff like that and um definitely something to point out um i also like the back and forth of the cleans and the screams in the chorus i always love that sort of ping pong sort of effect in any sort of track whether it be the verse the chorus the bridge whatever um i i i just like that i feel like it's very um i don't know it's very balanced per se um and that's definitely something that i picked out um i love the bridge slash breakdown i think this hits so hard it's awesome it kind of comes out of left field but you know you expect it at the same time so that's really awesome and i sort of and i also really dig uh the clean guitar and sort of bass outro uh combination that's actually seen a lot in this album which i also really enjoy too because i like when um I guess I like when certain instruments pair up and pair very well with each other, so definitely something to point out. So we'll move it on to track number six, which is Blind World. Uh, obviously, the title track, um, it is very much so kind of an interlude sort of track. I like this guitar, absolutely in love with the acoustic guitar tone and just the chord progressions and the stuff that he's using. It's very kind of like an open very open sort of guitar phrasing and stuff like that I really enjoy that um, I also enjoy the additions and drums in the sort of second part of that interlude um, I feel like it kind of adds this another dynamic to the overall awesome track um, I also enjoy the sort of big overall finish and then I like that they kind of sprinkled on some nice leads as well I feel like it just rounds it out and just you know it really kind of hits you but at the same time, it feels very cinematic, very theatrical, and uh, I really enjoyed that a lot. So I think that I love when bands, and I've mentioned it in a lot of other reviews, but I really love when bands do that sort of interlude sort of thing that really gets me without a doubt. So we'll move it on to track number seven, which is Time Will Tell. Another one of my favorites, got plenty of favorites like I mentioned. Um, another one of my favorite guitar riffs slash song riffs in the whole entire track like some of these riffs are just monumental and i really enjoy that um and i also like the heavy heaviness and the technicality and i like just how they complement each other so well um you know sometimes if it's very heavy and technical sometimes it doesn't feel very melodic however in this case i feel like again it's heavy but it also has this sort of melodic feel to it as well so i think that also adds to that whole feeling of that which i really enjoy um i also enjoy uh the vocal layering i think it adds some depth to the track and um i like the sort of dark undertones in the uh break of the track um, i think that's something they should really kind of add on into the next record um i really enjoy that sort of like eerie sort of dark dark uh sort of vibes that i got that would definitely be awesome to check out um if they ever decide to include that next time um and then I really, this track just really has such a groove to it. Um, every time I listened to the album, um, it was definitely one track that kept getting to me and that something that I really enjoyed. So um, that's definitely got, it's, this track definitely has the groove to it. And just that last breakdown though, if you have not listened to this track, go after this review, go listen to this track, Time Will Tell. That breakdown is just so nasty and so good. Man, it was just unctuous and just, mmm, tastes, oh man, it was just so awesome. Definitely one of my favorites, as I mentioned, but I think in, in terms of if I had to number them, it would definitely be in the top three favorite tracks off this record without a doubt so we'll move on to track number eight which is the silhouette um i like that it literally just had the one guitar come in and then 
you know, I, well, I like that literally the one guitar player, I messed up what I said, um, I literally love uh, that the one guitar, it's just one guitar player, and that he's creating all these awesome lead work and awesome, you know, guitar rhythm work um i think obviously he, he's just himself and you know he's matched up very well you know with the cleans like the sort of leady clean parts and you know obviously um the rhythm parts but um it really definitely shows um in a lot of these tracks and it was just something that i wanted to point out just in in general um i think this one track has some really awesome bounce to it um i really like Again, the really clean guitar breaks, like I was talking about earlier. Strong structure track. The song structure of the tracks um, just feel very strong and very thought out and very methodical, which I really enjoy. Just being a guitar player myself, I like that he really thought about breaks and just where you would need it and stuff like that. And then vocally speaking, I really like how he experimented um, just either by layering the different effects um, on his voice. I like that. Uh, just I like when vocalists do that and just kind of step out of their comfort zone. And then that harmonic breakdown at the end was really awesome too. So... That's kind of my thoughts on the silhouette. So we'll move into track number nine, which is After the Sun Sets. Another one of my favorites. Um, I really like this sort of realistic intro. I think it's so damn awesome. Um, like when he gets into the car and just puts it on like his radio. I think that's really cool. Um, I know I don't hear that too, too often. So um, I definitely feel like it's something to point out. And it's definitely something original that I haven't heard so I mean if you've heard other bands do it that's awesome I mean I know I can one that I can think of with all, uh, you know off the bat I thought of issues I know they do that sort of stuff but that's on a completely different topic um, but vocally on this track I have enjoyed it on both ends screams and cleans really 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 solid work um, I think you know he's turning to be He's definitely becoming some one of my favorite vocalists, just in terms of overall, uh, you know, clean screams, everything. Um, I really like that he has a lot of diversity and can do different things uh, with his voice. Um, but I also feel like this one also has some great groove to it. Um, they really know how to kind of get that really, they know how to put good grooves in a pocket, man. It's really awesome. Um, loving the rhythm guitar work per usual, really awesome stuff. And then I also like this sort of additional layering, you know, either like some like ambient bits to it. Um, really awesome stuff in that regard. Um, I also like the back and forth between the guitar and bass in the bridge. I think, again, they kind of did that in two tracks, but I really love to point that out. I love when bands do that kind of play of the two instruments or like bass with drum or guitar with bass or you know what I mean and stuff in that regard so I really enjoy that um, and I really dig in the added layers on the lead guitars um, in the chorus I think it just adds this overall like fullness to it and I really enjoyed that and I also enjoy the sort of acoustic and vocal uh, ending I always love when bands do that I think that that is some of the I think that's some of my favorite parts of a lot of tracks is when they just kind of ended off really soft and you know just thought out so i really enjoyed that so we'll move it into the last track number 10 detached again another one of my favorites um this will just get you you know bumping that head i would definitely say grooves on grooves is all i need to tell you about this track this track just moves um, I definitely feel like this track encompasses the entire record, Blind World, without a doubt. Um, I think it's kind of the culmination of this entire album, is this track, without a doubt. If I had to tell you to listen to one r track off this record, it would definitely be detached. I think this is numero uno in my favorite tracks. Um, great vocal performance, again, uh, he's shaping up to be one of my favorite vocalists, and I'm excited to keep checking these guys out um, without a doubt I feel like song structure wise this one is my favorite as well just it's got grooves to it it's got some singy chorusy parts to it it's it's just got a nice mishmash of the two and I really enjoy that I like just the balance between harmony and melodic 
and heavy parts i just feel like they're all in tune together and they're just balancing each other very well um i think it's again an excellent way to uh, end the record uh without a doubt so my pros and cons i would definitely say that this band is underrated in my opinion um i am kind of pissed i did not give them a chance earlier i should have um this band is wicked good this record is wicked good um and getting back to detached for a moment um i really like the female vocals at the end if it's not the female vocals and it's just falsetto that is a crazy range but i'm almost positive it's female vocals but that's that's besides the point if ghost key if you're watching this video let me know i think is i almost positive it's uh female vocals but if it isn't that was primo that was really awesome so uh, but getting back to the pros and cons of the record um really enjoyed this one i honestly i didn't think that i wasn't gonna like it because i i do love the just the grooves of gent um i love the polyrhythms i love the drums the guitars everything about it um and just a genre that always gets me and always excites me um to check out things but i think this is just a masterpiece to me from front to back i really think that this is absolutely one of my favorites of the year it just constructed very well i can see myself listening to this for you know at least a couple months if not more um it just has this really awesome great replay value to it you don't get really tired of it um it's got grooves it's got melody it's got heaviness i think it's got every piece that i really enjoy about just heavy music in general so um my overall rating for this is a 9.5 out of 10 i highly recommend if you have not checked out ghost iris go give them a listen uh go give blind world a spin you will not regret it i promise you that um go pick up their record first week sales mean a lot to bands so i would definitely go pick this one up without a doubt like i'm gonna go pick it up i'm super stoked on it i'm super stoked on the progress of ghost iris uh good work guys awesome stuff definitely probably my highest rated album so far i'm curious to see if a band can top this um but i'm really stoked for these guys and i can't wait so let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on blind world have you heard of ghost iris did you hear blind world what are some of your favorites definitely let me know in the comments section below also definitely check out our merch store uh we're posting new designs really soon um we currently have a floral one and a um galaxy print up of our logo so if you enjoy that or if you want to support me definitely please go pick up a shirt it means so much uh and thank you guys so much uh just for the love the support comments likes dislikes whatever thank you guys so much uh for just checking it out it means the world so without further ado again my name is brandon and we hope you got your fix and we'll be talking with you soon peace hey guys hope you enjoyed the video uh thanks for watching of course uh if you enjoy what we do make sure to go check out the other series we do we do album reviews we do band interviews and we do live videos so definitely go check that out um hit that subscribe button it really helps our channel helps us grow make sure to hit that like button as well uh go follow us on social media that's all down below we try to keep that as updated as possible we also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us guys talk to you later deuces